I'm Mrs. Williver, and today is Mrs. Williver Day. Are you ready for a story? Well, today my story is called Take Your Mark, Ollie, written and illustrated by Mrs. Williver. Ollie is a cute gray ostrich. He has a very long neck, but he has very short legs. As a matter of fact, Ollie is the shortest one in class. Whenever his class lined up for recess or to go to an assembly, Ollie always had to line up in the front of the line. Everyone called him Shrimp, Shorty, or Small Fry. Oh sure, he laughed with them, but it always hurt his feelings. Ollie's class was planning a big track meet at the end of the week. A track meet is an event where people run races and do other fun games outside. Ollie couldn't wait to run against his friends. He got in shape by jogging around the block and jumping rope. He didn't want to get tired out when he ran against them. His friends couldn't wait to run against him either. They figured it was going to be easy beating Ollie because his legs were so short. They didn't think that short legs could run very fast, but oh boy, did they have a surprise coming. On the day of the track meet, Ollie's class lined up after snack time to go out to the field. Of course, Ollie was in the front of the line, so he led his class to the field where it was all marked off for the races. The track meet went on for two hours and Ollie hadn't entered one race yet. His friends figured maybe he was scared to lose. They thought maybe he knew that he was too short to run any of the races. But finally, at the final race, Ollie stepped up to compete. It was the 50 yard dash. All of Ollie's friends entered this race too. Take your mark, said the teacher. Ollie took his mark and stood very still. Get set, said the teacher. His friends all looked at him. Go! Ollie took off like he had rocket packs attached to his back. Before Ollie knew it, Ollie was across the finish line. He had beaten all his friends. When they all reached the finish line, they gave Ollie high fives and low fives. They lifted him up in the air and walked him back to class. The end. Now, you know what? Raise your hand if you're the shortest one in class. That's me. I was the shortest one in my class. I always had to line up in the front of the line. I was called names, shorty, shrimp. Kind of hurt my feelings a little bit. Make sure you don't call your name, your friends names because that hurts them. Even if they laugh, ha ha ha, yeah, it still hurts their feelings, okay? So don't worry about if you're short for things right now. Doesn't matter. Doesn't make anyone better than you because they're taller, okay? Just like we said in Sammy the Spider, like yourself for who you are because that's what you were born to be. Next, we're going to draw. Are you ready for a drawing? Let's draw Ollie the ostrich. We're going to draw in the banana direction, banana direction, banana direction. Put your paper in the banana direction and you'll be ready to draw with me. Okay, remember? Banana is a long way. This is apple. We always draw like that. We're going to draw in the banana direction today. Now Ollie is a very strange character. He really is. He's just something silly. Okay? So what we want to do is we want to start with Ollie's head. Okay, we're going to draw his head here, his neck, and his feathers and his short little legs. Okay? We're going to start with a C. The letter C. 
see, but we're going to stop about right there. We're not going to go all the way as we would with, with a regular letter C. Okay, we're going to stop about right there. Okay. And if you want to come down a little bit from the top, then we're going to give him his beak. Now, this is crazy. You're going to put on a beak like this. Kind of like we did Fillmore's tail when we came out, right? Then we're going to come in, watch up like that. And give him a Mrs. Wolliver smile. Okay. And then <clears throat> you're going to come down a little. Come in, not right from the top, but come in about right there. Come down and go like that. All right, there's his beak. That's hard. It's not easy. It's hard. Difficult. Challenging. I like to say challenging. Okay. Now what you want to do is come from where you started the beak, okay? Come like this, out with a line. Then you're going to come and connect it right there. That's going to separate his beak from his face, okay? Right here on top of his nose, you're going to give him a little dot, a little spot. Those are... Those are how birds breathe. Isn't that crazy? They have a little, little dot in their nose where they can breathe for their nostril. Okay. Then we're going to come right here and make one eye. How many eyes? One. With his pupil. So he can see. There we go. All right. Okay, now we're going to make his neck. Now, ostriches have long necks. Okay, long necks and long legs. Woo, they're tall. Not Ollie, though. No, he's the smallest guy in the class. That's okay, remember? Doesn't matter. Okay, then we're going to come out with his feathers. Let's give him his arms, kind of his arm feathers up like this all right and then we're just going to come around gosh it's kind of going to look like a jungle sun when we're done okay same kind of shape as the jungle sun there you go good job All right, now we need his legs. Now his legs aren't that big. You're gonna come from those feathers like that. There's one thigh, ostrich thigh, okay? Bend his little leg like this. And then we're gonna give him his little feet. Three feet. One, two, just like that okay and now we need to put on another leg give him another leg like that there you go a thigh it says thigh and then his leg and then his foot with his toes three toes okay now this is my favorite part of Ollie. I think this is why I created him because he's he just it's fun to draw. You're going to put one, two, three, maybe four if you can fit four little spots on his legs. One, two, three. Oh, I did four on that that one. Four on that one. Three on that one. Okay. And from those dots or spots, we're going to put a hair. One hair. One hair. If you look at ostrich's legs, they're kind of hairy. They're pretty hairy. They're actually really funny. They're funny to look at. Why this thing is just swapping all over the place. So slippery. Sorry about that. 
Okay. Now we're going to put him in his classroom, getting ready for the uh, track meet that he's going to be running with his friends. Okay. So now what we want to do is we want to, from the middle of his neck, we want to go to horizontally with a horizon line, a horizontal line, horizon line. Follow it behind his neck. Go to the other side like that. Okay. <clears throat> now, if you have enough room here, you should. You should if you've been. You're going to put the door to his classroom. From the top of your paper to the bottom of the horizon line. Only to there. To the carpet. And put a door knob on the door. All right. And if you remember from Megan the Mouse that we did, okay. We're going to put an electrical plug on the wall, the socket. So let's practice that shape. We're going to make a rectangle, big one. Make it big so you can fit those other shapes inside. Okay? Like that. You're going to put a square here, a square here. Okay? Let's do line, line, circle this time. They're all different. Some have circles on the top with a line in the middle. Some have lines on top with a circle down on the bottom. So it really doesn't matter which way you do it. It just looks like a plug that you need to plug something in the wall. <clears throat> okay. All right. Great job. Now put your pencils down. Look down at your paper and say, wow, I did a great job. Okay, now tell your neighbors, wow, you did a great job too. Are we having fun now? Yes, we're having fun now. We're having a very nice day. Are we having fun now? Yes, we're having fun now. We're having... A nice Mrs. Wolliver day, learning to draw the Mrs. Wolliver way. Until next time, keep drawing and don't forget, hit subscribe. <laughs>